Hi everyone, welcome back after the summer. I think it's still quiet, people are still away. Um, I'm back and on a big September detox. So we're going to use some weights because I feel like I've not used weights for ages and we're going to make more of a bar class. So we're just going to start with a really deep warrior pose and just come into it. So I started a little run this morning. I'm going to try and run around the lake every day. Does anyone else feel that September is a little bit like January? And time to just rebalance things. And then just take it nice and wide. This is more for me than anyone. Take the hips back, chin to chest, and just gently down. I don't want to start off with tight hamstrings. And then walk both hands to one foot. And then back the other way. And then back. And then back. Now I'm putting this on YouTube, but for anyone that thinks, oh, why is there some 12 minute, 15 minute? Just a few people have asked for a bit of cardio, but just a short session. So if you've only got like 12 minutes, 10 minutes, better than nothing. Try and get into a daily routine. And then back to centre, take your arms out to capital T, push through the heels and gently back up. And back to centre. Say bye bye to the sangria and the bread. Okay, keep the shoulders down. Let's take it into a deep, closed position squat for two, for three, for four, for four. For three, oh, you've all had an amazing summer. It feels like everyone's been away this year um, after COVID. So, yeah, I hope it's been fabulous. Two, three, I definitely had the balance tilted more onto fun and excess. So, uh, yeah, September, <laughs> new start. Two, and oh, one, well done. And take it up, two lots of eight for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And again, so by the end of the month, guys, I'll be expecting comments coming through going, wow, Jo, you look like you did when you were 25. And five, and four, three, got a party to go to on the 1st of October, I need to get into a dress. Can get into it, but it's a little bit snug. Okay, so let's open up the hips. Take it back, hold, have a little rotation, back to centre. And again. And again. Three. So I'll say hello to all my Janets who now we do this on Monday class. Lovely Marta. Lovely Paula. My husband laughs because I call everybody lovely. <laughs> one more each side. One. And two. Well done. Walk, walk through the hips even more. So nice wide one. It's warm, isn't it? So. And back. Yes, yeah, so the run around the lake this morning was quite tough, tougher than normal. But maybe it'll get easier the more I do it. And four. Even the trainers, you know, have little lulls. It's too hot to work out in Spain. And again, let's go for eight. For seven. Beautiful. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done, let's warm up through the shoulder area. So take it out, I love this one. Really good to keep everything moving through the shoulder area into abduction overhead. And again, and then into my reflection, a big circle.
You can come up into the balls of the feet if you want. I went for a run today, I've already told you. So I don't want to overwork the calves too, but you can, even if you do one at a time. Or just play around with it. Come up, don't come up, two, and one. Well done, good. Okay, let's grab hold of some weights. Okay, okay. So, hopefully, yeah. So we're going to take it into a lunge. Remember with a lunge, we don't want to keep that back leg straight. We're not just bending the front leg. Taking the back leg nice and long. Weight slightly, ever so slightly forward. Two lots of eight. Nice and slow. Two. Three. Four. Four. So yeah, if you don't like cardio, guys, then yeah, I'm just going to put on time. Just these little 10 minutes, 7 minutes, 12 minutes. Just to keep the heart healthy. You don't have to do my 45 minute hit class. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Well done, let's come to the other side. So again, nice, weight slightly forwards. And again, for eight, you can lift something this nearly over. Six, five, nine months of sheer hard work now to try and pay for the summer holidays. Everyone else feeling the pinch? Two, and one, and again for eight, seven, another good reason to have a detox in September. Don't go out and spend money. We'll need it for the winter months, I'm afraid, this year. Three, two, and one. Well done. Switch arms again, and legs, not arms, sorry, legs. Take it up. So you want the weights around the breast area or chest. Keep the gaze down. Take your arms nice and straight. Gently back in, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and one. Well done. Switch legs. This time take your arms really high. Gears down, just pulse up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I can tell I'm not breathing doing many ways. Take one way down. Let's take it into a wood chart. Where's my band? Okay. Down. Retract. Up. Keep the car tight. Hips backwards. Down. Just check in. Sorry, I just thought someone was joining then. And again. Three. Four. Two 
and one, well done, the other side, shoulder blades down, let's lift, for eight, for seven, for six, sorry, five, four, three, two, and one, and lift, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, good work, three, two, and one, well done, into balance, switch hands again, okay, shoulder blades down, And lift. Still sweating from my run this morning, I think. Three, four, I thought it was supposed to be awful today, it's a beautiful day. Six, seven, and eight. Then hold it down, take that weight slightly to the side, just do eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two and one well done back to the middle and again last eight seven six five four three two and one beautiful other side so again just a straight one one and two switch your nose three and four Seven and eight. Take the foot down, weight out, keep the elbow glued in. Slight angle. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. September for strength, guys. And again, sub September. We're calling it in this house. Two. Anyone else from Team Shangri-La? Well done, beautiful. Okay, come slightly to the side. I want you to bend the front knee, way over, tuck the tailbone and just lift. Lift for two, lift for three, for four, four, three, two and one. Four more, four, three, two, and one, well done, the other side, on this angle, okay. and again, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one, well done, good work, lift both weights together, obviously safety first, come on down, okay, draw the tummy in, take the weights together, up, one, two, three, four, heel raise, done weighter, eight, seven, Done, beautiful. Down we go. One bicep, one heel raise. Got an itchy nose. I'm trying to ignore it. Three. <laughs> Keep going. Five. When you get an itch, you get an itch everywhere, then, don't you? Both together. Four, 
for one. Well done. Place your weights to one side, guys. Just gently take one foot in front of the other. Swagging cops. Take one arm in front. So whichever leg's in front, take that same arm so you know which one you've done. Pull it across. to bring behind the back, bring it back, then lengthen it and take some little shrugs, two, three, four, beautiful, switch legs, deltoid stretch, pull it in, Stretch in the neck, pull it over one, two, three, and four. Well done. Okay, okay. So let's take it to the side of your mat. If you don't want to do any roll out planks, guys, or little bits in between, just take this time to just roll it out into a plank and then just sit into a shell stretch and just rest. Yeah, it's your practice. If you want to do more strength work, you chin to chest, you hips back. If anyone's got um, risk of lymphedema, just make sure you're not holding for too long. Work it out, hold that position, take it in for eight, or just go into a shell stretch. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done, hips nice and high, walk the hands back, get the heels towards the floor, hold that stretch. Walk it back. Gently up. Good, let's go again, chin to chest. Hips back, weight forwards, take it out, last one, one, two, three, four, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Knees down, just take a little welcome shell stretch. Close position. Take both hands behind into the cathedral position. Just relax the shoulders, pull it in towards the mat. Just have a nice little stretch out. Beautiful. Well done. Let's come down onto our tummies. So important that we do some prone work as well. So, just take my hair like this so you can see my neck. Okay. So, take your hands, palms into the imaginary seams of your trousers. Push the pubic bone down into the mat. Draw the belly in. Slide the fingertips down. And we're just going to keep that core engaged. Pelvic floor engaged a little bit. Just lift up. A little bit through that chest, not too much, keeping the neck nice and long. Take the right arm out to the side, circle it for two, circle back, two, bring it back in, the other side, circle for two, circle back, two, one, well done, back in, lower back down, set up again, let everything relax, start again, pubic bone, draw the belly in, slide the scapula down, lift up. Take it right arm out to the side, back in. Left arm, back in. Both together. Hold. Palms up to ceiling. Just pulse. One, 
two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Gently back in, lower back down. Well done, let's go again. Push the pubic bone down, draw the belly in, slide the scapula down, lift. Hold. Take one arm out, circle for two. One, two, circle back. One, two, back in the other side. Circle one, circle two, circle one, circle two, back in. Both together, palms up, pulse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back in, relax everything. Well done, take both arms over. Push the pubic bone down, draw the belly in, lift the head and the chest, and just lift alternate arm and leg. Not too high, lift. Lift, squeeze in the navel to the spine. Keep the neck long. Let's go again. Walk the scapula down, take a breath in. Gently roll the lower back into the mat. Start lifting up. And this time I want you to come up onto the balls of the feet and try and bring the feet together and the inner thighs together. Don't drop, keep level, but just take the legs out to the side and then back in. For two, for three, four, four, three. Two, one, a little bit of thigh, inner thigh activation. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Feet down, take a breath in. Slowly lower. Now just a little supine spine before they do the next two. Back to centre, take a breath in, gently roll the lower back into the mat, come on up into your bridge, sending the knees nice and long, one foot into the mat, don't let the hips drop, bring the other leg up, for one, lower back down, for two, keep it level, 
a three, a four, four, and let's have any shifting, three, two, one, and again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a breath in. Slowly lower. One by one. Beautiful. Last one. Let's take a breath in through the nose. Walk the heels a little bit further back. Walk the shoulder blades down. Gently roll into imprint. Come on up into your bridge position, straight into double leg, so heels away. Tuck the tailbone, yeah? Arms up if you can, drop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four more sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take the heels down. Take a breath in. Slowly lower. Bone by bone. Beautiful. Take the foot onto the knee, just into normal figure four stretch. You can keep the foot down if you want. We'll do piriformis glute stretch when we've done side leg. Good. And then switch. Have a look. Or if the bum's tight or it makes the hip crease a little bit and feel uncomfortable, just keep the foot on the floor, pushing that knee away. Well done. Back to centre. So before we do some more glute work, let's do some abdominal work. So find your pelvic neutral position. So imagine that tray of drinks. This month, August, it was Sangaria Marito. Next week, it is going to be peppermint tea, black coffee and water. And gently back and forth. I've told everyone now, so now I've got to stick with it. <laughs> and I've dragged my husband into it as well. He needs it, definitely. So once you find that neutral spine, yeah, pubic bone, hip bones level, bring the right leg up to tabletop and the left leg. Lift up into chest lift. If this really bothers your neck and shoulders, you can just do single leg stretch like this, yeah? Otherwise, up. Take the right hand to the outside, this top so on. Nothing to do with making sure. Right hand to the outside, inner hand to the knee, or to the ankle, like that. Can you see? One hand on the outside, and the other on the ankle. Keep your chin towards the chest to protect the neck. A little bit hard to keep in neutral. You feel like when you're up a bit, you might be imprinting a little bit, but try to keep that gap underneath the lump spine, rib cage is closed, hips, ribs towards the hips, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done, bring the knees into chest. Have a little sideways with the head as well. Release the neck. Two more. Two. And one. Well done. Take the legs up. A little straight if you can. Right a bit tight through the hamstrings. Lower back down, 
rib cage close. You can lift them if you want. I'll keep the head and shoulders down. I might keep them down. Draw the belly in. Scissor. I tend to try and start people in imprint with scissor and at least then if they tip the pubic bone a little bit, it just goes into neutral. Don't let the tummy down. Let's just do eight more and I'll do something with our shoulders, just keep mobility and we'll try and do the same movement with our legs. the head, one comes towards the hips and they come back to the centre. We usually do this on the roller guys, really beautiful. If you're on the floor then generally most people will get pretty much down to the floor. But don't worry if you can, just go to your own range. Well done guys, let's just come up onto our side and let's just do a little bit of, so lift up that bottom waist, lengthen the top leg, you can take your arm out if you want, you can leave it there, you can take it in front, I'm just going to put mine there, yeah, and point the foot and lift, and lower, lift, and lower, step three, step four, Step three, step two, step one, and again, step eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Point the foot, one, two, flex it back. Point, one, two, flex it back. Point one two, flex it back. Point one two, flex it back. Point one two, flex it back. Last one, one two, and back. Circle five, circle four, three, two, one. Circle back five, four, three, two. One, bring it back, point, drop again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. 
come onto your back. Let's do piriformis stretch. Okay, take the leg you've been lifting and lower it. Take it into tabletop. First of all, we're just going to lengthen and flex. So just extend and flex just for a little bit. Three, four, hold it up, circle, circle back. Flex, send it in and out, in, out, in, out. Bring it back to, you might want to put a pillow on your head here, sometimes people do. Use the same hand, push that inner knee towards the opposite shoulder, lift up, outside ankle bone, woo! <laughs> That's from running, I think. And I'm just pushing in on the outside of the knee to get into that piriformis. Can be a pesky muscle. Take your arm out to the side and just bring it over. Take a beautiful breath in. Gently back to centre, lengthen the legs. Let's take our hands backwards. Let's just do three roll-ups. So take a breath in through the nose, chin towards the chest, roll it up and forwards. Restart back. Gently down. I know we zoom, it's very easy to look at the camera, guys. Try not to, because that's sometimes when I strain my neck and I'm trying to teach and talk to you at the same time. And over. Well done. Restart back to the other side. And that will conclude our lesson. So again, lift up that bottom waist. Okay, lengthen that top leg. Keep the core tight. Point, lift and lower. Lift for two. Lift for three. For four. Four. Three. Two. And one, and again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it, point one, two, flex it back, point one, two, flex it back, point one, two, flex it back, point one, two. And back, and again, one, two, and back, two more, one, two, back, one, two, back, hold, lengthen again, lift up the bottom waist, keep the navel to spine connected, one, two, three, four, five, five the other way, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it back, point, drop and lift, drop and lift, and for three, and for four, 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 three, two, and one, hold, bring it back, take a nice little breath in, pull the thigh backwards, Well done, and back onto your backs, and again, lengthen the leg that you've not been lifting and lowering, bring the other leg into tabletop, just lengthen it and flex it, you can just do a bit of this, yeah. Good, just a little circle, circle back, keep the ankle joint nice and healthy. Flex, turn it in, out, in, out, and then same hand, push the inner knee towards the opposite shoulder, lift up into that piriformis stretch, keep pushing on the outside knee, a lot of people are tight here, really important that you do this stretch, take some nice breaths in through the nose, out, 
Lovely guys, and then just come up, and we're just going to sit into a nice step leg. Okay, this is the Serena. Hi, darling. So, the front knee, I want you to take the hand nearest the front knee onto the mat, just like a little claw hand. Reach up, and then just come over. And have a little twist, and come into like a shell stretch. Stop in 